Grizzly here with a quick video blog evaluation for Janie over at OldDogTreatsAndRawHide.com and of course there's a dash in between each of those words. So um, checking out the site here and you also wanted me to check out your blog uh, Janie and you guys a lot of the standard questions how to build up your traffic, um, you asked how many posts should you do weekly. Um, I, I, I don't, I'm hesitant to give you an answer on that one actually because I think it's more important that you write when you have something worthy to say uh, and then maintain a pattern. But it's not necessarily a matter of quantity. Uh, a lot of bloggers, they mistake that and they think, well, I need to post more often in order to get more traffic. And that's very often not the case at all. Uh, if you just write when you have something you want to write and then try to maintain a pattern, if, even if it's just once a week, do that. It'll be fine. Um, opinion on the blog layout and let's see when should I monetize uh, blah, 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 blah. okay so here's the first thing uh, and the main thing I actually want to tell you is, is that you are treating your blog which is this which you said is operating on thesis and everything and your main site differently and I'm not exactly sure why you're doing that it's you say that you have 30,000 visitors a month on this your main site and that you I think it says you've seen some improvement in your monetization, so I, I assume it's just ads that you're doing to make money here. Uh, but you had traffic here, and then over here on the blog, you're not really getting any. And my my question to you is, why are you separating it? What I would not do, what I would do is stop using the subdomain of blog dot and then your domain. Instead, just put everything right here. Uh, just have like a little link up here in your top menu that says blog, and then install, uh, you have your blog sitting inside of a directory like olddogtreatsandrawhide.com slash blog rather than that subdomain. Uh, and that way you can actually have your content showing up here on your main site and get the benefits of everything being on one. The way you're doing it right now, it's it, you're just adding to your workload. And, and not only that, Google sees it as a completely different site. Whereas if Google's already ranking this one, uh, you're you're really cutting yourself off at the knees by not easily allowing it to index this one. So uh, I, I would merge them. That's that's the first and foremost thing that I would ask you to do. Um, not only that, there's a completely different layout over here, and it's just uh, you know if everything's going to carry over, I think it should carry over. Try to make thesis look kind of like this site if you're going to merge it over. Uh, just take the header in, I and mean, you don't have to, mer you know, bring everything over. Uh, another thing I like about your main site is that you have a lot more of a compelling list opt-in situation going on over here. Whereas if we go over to your blog, it's just the typical like opt-in with no invitation, you, know, you know, no reason to get on it. You're not giving them anything. You're using FeedBurner. I see you're using FeedBurner over here too, even though you're giving them an actual list. So um, anyway, I would definitely recommend you check out A Weber. Uh, you know, or even if you don't like A Weber for some reason, Mailchimp. I mean, anything is going to be better than FeedBurner. Um, but you have a much more compelling call to action here for your list than you do over here. So I don't, I don't understand why you haven't carried it through. Um, but I mean, in terms of your market, I think you've got a good one. People definitely have a strong emotional attachment to their dogs, um, as I'm sure that you do, Janie, and um, and that carries over to everybody else as well, which is great for potential monetization. It looks like right now you're just doing ads. I, I'm imagining. I don't think you're selling anything, but um, but look into something that maybe you could sell uh, as an information product. Uh, to help them solve various, you know, maybe more, get specific with information products. They have a particular type of uh, disease with their dog that you can um, compile some some expert information together into an information product and sell that and have a library of those things available here on the site that they can buy. Um, so that way you're not completely dependent on Google. Um, so let's see, I'm not, you were talking about getting steady traffic to the blog and you were talking about blog directories articles, Twitter, Facebook. Um, yeah, I think by merging the two sites together, you're going to you're gonna find you get a lot more headway out of your blog. Um, and then, I, yeah, I would just do guest posting, uh, all the typical stuff. Um, you know, continue to use the social networks. If you want to engage in some article marketing, that's fine. Um, I find that many people, they overthink traffic building, and, and they're always looking for some secret to build up their traffic, but it's really just a matter of doing the basic stuff and doing it a lot. 
Um, and then also make contacts with other uh, sites in your niche and uh, and uh, see if you can guest post over there or even just, I don't, you know, I don't know if you want to go into the link exchange route because that's a little old school, but, uh, but, but see if there's, you can find some way to have some type of a strategic partnership with those guys. Um, okay, well, I, hopefully I've given you some stuff to go by. If you have any more specific questions, um, then feel free to shoot me an email, Janie. But I think the main thing you need to do here is merge these two sites together. I think you'll get a lot more bang out of it. Talk to you soon.